Okay, okay. Oh, great, okay. Well, hello, everybody. Look at your beautiful smiles. James, you look at your smile. Tina, you're smiling. Hope, look at you. You're just all so, I'm, it's such a joy to be with you. Thank you, Dr. Breakthrough, for, for hosting this, for having this. All right, get your, get your pieces of paper out, like Kelly said. So this is my intention. I have 16 minutes, all right? I wanna share with you how you can have it all. You're gonna figure out what your purpose on the planet is. You're gonna figure out how to be the most disciplined, productive, motivated, confident, joy-filled person that you know in 16 minutes. Ready? Okay, okay. So like Kelly said, I'm the founder of The Higher Life. And The Higher Life is based on this idea that there is a roadmap to the high performance life. And the high performance life is the higher life, is the life where research shows you're at the top, you're kind of at the top of whatever you do in your life. You stay there for long periods of time, like decades. It's kind of like the Oprah model. She didn't crash and burn, right? That's interesting. How, how do you stay at the top for 20, 30, 40 years? When we study high performers, they have joy. So they're not just like going through their days. They are joyful. They're confident and they're engaged. They're present in their life. They, they're feeling their life, right? And then here's the kicker. They do all of this while enjoying the greatest relationships and health of any person, any people on the planet. So by definition, high performers have it all. And it's not a mystery of how you can have it all. So write this down. All right. There is a quote that many of you might have heard, and it goes like this. Your income and influence rarely will rise higher than your level of self-mastery. Now, you might agree or disagree with this, but generally speaking, I'll say it again, your income and your influence will rarely rise higher than your level of self-mastery. So let's talk about self-mastery and I want to help you be the most, the highest version of yourself. I'm going to give you the key to self-mastery. It's one word and it's called alignment. So I'm not going to pretend to do a car analogy because I don't know what I'm talking about, but I guess we bring our cars in to get alignment, you know, several times a year, right? You make sure the car is, is running well, right? The key to self-mastery is alignment. So we're going to go through what the heck are we aligning to? What does that even mean? So let's walk through. There's kind of four pillars of alignment. But here's, here's, what, here's where we're going. In order to have more, you don't need to do more. Isn't that good news? <laughs> In order to have more, you don't need to do more. So what do we need more of? We need you to be more aligned. In order to have more, you don't need to do more. You need to be more aligned. So this makes perfect sense. How do the most productive people on the planet get so much done if they're sleeping the most, if they're exercising the most, if they're enjoying the greatest relationships? So the secret, to, the secret sauce here is alignment. So alignment is when you're being and you're doing are aligned. When you're being and you're doing are aligned, you will be unstoppable. It's inevitable. You will reach what people call flow state. Things will be easy, fun. You'll be like pulled by your mission instead of trying to push your way to the, to the top. It's that that's how high performers experience so much joy. They're not pushing. They're not proving. They're not all these things that are heavy. So here we're going to go. The first thing you're going to align to is your identity of your highest self. 
take some time tonight, tomorrow, if you, if you need some time, but I want you to think of what, what are the three words that would describe you being your highest self? In other words, your wisest self, your truest self, your most actualized self. What are some of the words that would describe you in that state? Put some in the chat if you if you can share. One of mine, I'll give you an example. One of mine is fit. And I know for me, that doesn't just mean physical fitness. It means spiritual fitness, emotional fitness, um, mental fitness, okay? So I know what that means. So it's gonna be really hard for me to kind of dig myself if I am consistently behaving in ways that are unfit. Does that make sense? And it's almost inevitable that I will find happiness if I behave in line with my values. If I behave in line with what a fit Aaron would do, I have a chance of confidence. I have a chance of liking myself. I have a chance of self-esteem. And ultimately, this is the recipe for happiness. It, it's very, very simple. The happy life is the life where you are aligned. It works 100% of the time because you'll realize that happiness is this identity that's not based on circumstances. So I could be crying this morning, but I'm still happy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I can still like Aaron. I can still say, but I was the Aaron I valued being today even though these things went sideways, even though my children had temper tantrums all morning, I was the parent I value being. Do you see? And so when your head hits the pillow at night, you can say, you know what? Not a super perfect, wonderful day, but I was the person I valued being. I was in alignment. Okay, so let's say one of your values, James, will go with his caring. Now, if he goes and behaves in a caring way, that's in alignment. It sounds very simple. But if you want to be patient, for example, how does one become patient? You practice patience. You be that person now. I have this saying, be her now, be him now. If I want to be, yes, empathic, then I'm going to practice empathy. If I want to be good at tennis, I'm going to practice tennis. So whatever word you have, that is your North Star, so to speak, of, oh, what would I be doing if I was being that person? And you be her now and you be him now. So that's the first thing we're aligning to. That's our highest self. And, and I would venture to say your highest self 99.9% .9 of the time knows the answers, knows what to do. You just need to consult your higher self. It's almost like he or she is sitting right next to you and you're like, all right, I know we haven't talked for a while, but um, what would you have me order off the menu? Would you have me go to the gym today? How would you have me be when my husband comes home after a long day of work? What kind of parent would you have me be today? Um, how would you show up on your Zoom meeting, right? Your higher self always knows the answers. We're just not consulting him or her. So you consult and then you listen. You take good directions from your higher self. I think that's so exciting. There's no guru outside of you. Your higher self is your higher power as well. For many of us, it's our higher power. It knows the way. Okay, so the second thing we're lining up to is our purpose on the planet. Another word for this could be our mission. Another word could be our vision. Now, if you're like, I don't know my purpose on the planet, Dr. Aaron, I don't know, like I would give you lots of money if you could help me figure that out. I'm gonna give you three pillars to find your purpose of the, on your planet and you're gonna know for the rest of your life. It's very simple. The first is usually a combination of these three. The first is your gifts. Now, I want you to think about Let's pick, let's, let's take hope for an example. I want hope to think about what, what have people told her she's great at her whole entire life. Since you were a little girl, teenager, a young adult, there's some thread of like, you're so something that is hope's gift. It's not a skill she learned. It's like a gift. So 
your purpose on the planet has to do with your gifts. And then I want you to ask this second question. What breaks my heart? Uh, put another way, what agitates me? Agitation is motivation, okay? For some of us on this Zoom call, what agitates us or breaks our heart is cruelty to animals. For others on the call, it's not that. It's something else entirely. Maybe it's poverty. For, for me, it's people that don't feel worthy. So not enoughness. That's why my mission is to set the captives free. It's free from unworthiness, lack of confidence, perfectionism, all those kind of things. So ask yourself, like, what breaks your heart? That is usually a direct pathway to show you, like, what you're here to help solve. Because the problem that breaks your heart is usually where you're meant to lead in terms of the solution. And third, you can ask, on the flip side, what brings you immense joy? That could be your purpose on the planet. So the thing I get, what I hear every everywhere is your energy, your energy, doctor, and your energy, right? Well, I have found a way to use my energy and my gifts through coaching and speaking, et cetera, right? So that's your purpose on the planet. It's not your job. It's not your occupation. It's a mission. Maybe your purpose on the planet is to leave a legacy of joy because your family hasn't known a legacy of joy. You know? Okay, so we're aligning to our higher self. We're aligning to our purpose on the planet. We're going to align our behaviors to our values. So if you're Lori's, one of Lori's words is patient. If she is being patient, she will be aligned and she will be happy. If your, you know, one of your values is to be consistent and you are not being consistent, it's just too heavy of a lift to ask that you would feel good about that. You need to go and behave your way to different thinking about yourself. You go and be consistent and then you will be consistent and you will feel consistent and you'll be aligned. Okay. Peaceful. Dr. Ivanka, Dr. Ivanka gets to practice being peaceful. She's going to practice that if she hasn't already. She's going to practice that to get good at that. What does being peaceful look like? What are you doing? How are you experiencing your environment, etc.? Peace doesn't just come to people. You create the value you want to be. Okay, so the third was your behaviors are going to line up with your values. So if I want to be fit, then I have to do what fit people do. I wish that was not my word. It would be a lot easier, okay? But you're going to line up your behaviors. And then the last, you're going to align to your goals. Now look at your goals are different than your mission. My mission on the planet is to set the captives free. My goal is to be a diamond in the next three months and live good, right? So you see your goals are different than your mission. I can move my mission forward when I'm at the grocery store. I can move my mission forward with my children. I can set the captives free in lots of different areas, but... So, okay, so now I'm going to align to my goals. Well, if I want to be a diamond in the next three months, what does that mean I have to be doing? So we're in alignment. Okay, I'm going to go over these very quickly. There are three ways that we need you to protect your purpose. It's like you've got this gift, you need to protect it. Okay, so your job is not to find it only, but to protect it. First, you have to define your own definition of success. I want you climbing your own Mount Everest. The saddest thing I can imagine is you, you do all that work and you climb a mountain only to realize it's not even your mountain. You're like, I, I don't even know why I climbed this mountain. No, I want Hope to get to the top of her mountain and Tina to get to the top of her mountain and Dr. Ivanka. And I want to be up on the top and be like, hey, Barbie, hey, Barbie, hey, Barbie. Like, you know, hey, hey, Tina, hey, Kelly. I want us all to be on the top of our own mountains. And you've got to personally define what that is for you. Two, I want you to manage your energy more than you manage your time. It's not about time management. It's about energy management. What is a withdrawal to your energy? And what's it, what is a deposit? When you're with certain people, is it a deposit or a withdrawal? Do most things that give you a deposit in your energy. Do very little that withdraws. People that get more done get more done usually because it actually gives them energy. 
It doesn't take my energy to build my mission. It gives me energy. Does that make sense? And it makes me appear insanely productive because I'm moving my mission forward out of joy. And last, I want you to protect your purpose by assembling your own personal board of directors. And this is what I mean by this. I want you to imagine who would I put on my personal board directors that I would run my decisions by, that I would run my ideas by, understanding that not everyone is a credible source of how well you're doing. If you have a family member that doesn't understand network marketing, they are not on your board of directors when you're talking about network marketing. Okay, these people on your personal board of directors, they're people I've never met. I got Jesus on my, I got Oprah, I got my husband, I got my higher self, I got a friend. I, you know, you, but you run, you run the, your decisions by your personal board of directors, and you remind yourself not everyone is a credible source of how well I'm doing because their own definition of success is radically different from mine. So alignment protecting the alignment and you will be unstoppable. I hope that blessed you. Thank you so much. Wow, wow, wow. Doc, we're gonna have to do this longer because you, man, you just killed that quick. I, there are people saying it's all good already. Matter of fact, they like, I don't even think Dr. Breakthrough need to say anything. She broke it down. So Dr. Aaron, I think you set some captives free, sister. God bless you. Thank you. In the chat, come on. Did that bless you? Come on. Talk to Did that bless you? Did that? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Aaron. I appreciate your, your sincerity, your heart, uh, your desire to assist and serve people. And uh, wow, wow, wow. Hey, real quick, before I get started in this, I just want y'all to hear from Dr. Ivanka Faraby. She's a Les Brown trained speaker. Um, I, she's a television host. I got to do her television show. And matter of fact, I said, you need to have Dr. Aaron, your show about being unshackled and shackles free. Dr. Aaron's all about setting the captives free. So let's make this together. But she's got a short testimonial about the product and also about something. So Dr. Ivanka, real quick, come on out here. Say a quick word. This is going to be, I'm going to keep it real quick because I want to make sure <laughs> that, you know, we we stay on, on target. But I really... I'm so excited about the business of Live Good. And I'm going to tell you why. Very quickly, I've had an issue with sore knees for two years. There's nothing wrong with my knees. I've gone to the doctor, had them x-rayed. I do not have arthritis. I do not have anything except I'm ascertained that it was from inflammation. But after taking uh, factor four, doing my protein shakes, taking... The, the supplements, the 100% or organic supplements, my knees after three weeks, going on four weeks, I have completely stopped hurting. When I touch Come my on. knees, they used to be sore. When I get up, I'm like an old lady. I, I, I don't have that anymore. And I'm going to tell you, I just got through talking to one of my nurse friends on it. She's going to sign up uh, because she's having sore knees. She's a nurse. <laughs> so... I, I would really, you you can't go wrong. 100% guarantee, a 90-day empty bottle guarantee on the product. Come on now. What do you say, Dr. Breakthrough? Come, Come on. on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, because it's really, uh, it's about, too, a shift in, in mindset. Because I, I was reading your book, uh, Your Breakthrough is Guaranteed. I have it right here. Your Breakthrough is Guaranteed. And two things really quickly. You talked about the difference between being poor and being broke. And broke is a temporary situation. You can coach your way out of being broke. You can be trained out of being broke. It's temporary. But when you're poor, it, it requires a, a shift in your mindset. It's a shift in a repositioning of your mindset that so that you can see things differently. Like Wayne Dyer says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. When you're poor, you have to have a renewing of your mind. So that's all I want to say. But if you're thinking about this, get with the person that invited you because um, I, I, you, you don't have anything to lose. You can't beat it. You got 100 percent uh, guarantee. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. I'm excited. Wow. She's actually going to have me do a television show on this, too. So but thank you, doctor. Appreciate that. Hey, yes. real quick, uh, James Penny, 
Uh, this guy owned franchises, used to pay me thousands and thousands of dollars to speak for his franchise. He said, now you speak for me free. But anyway, James, give a short testimonial. He just finished my 21-day breakthrough challenge. You know, this is all about personal development and growth. And uh, are you available, Mr. James Penny? Yes, sir. I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, man. Congratulations. By the way, he made silver in record time. And uh, he's, his team is called the Live Good Diamond Factory. So real quick, James. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Dr. Breakthrough. Wow, wow, wow. Wasn't Dr. Oaksoll's presentation information so amazing? When I get done uh, with my testimony, I'm going to post my notes into the chat. And I would love it if everybody else would post theirs because I was typing as fast as I could, and I'm an old guy, I type slow, but gosh, I love that. We got to have some more, Dr. Oak. So, hey, listen, I've built franchise companies for decades, um, and I'm very successful at it, national, international franchise companies. And listen, I tell you, I, I always, even though, though I was very successful, I always kind of had an empty place in my stomach of sadness because I got into the business to help people like myself. I grew up in a very poor family. 10 kids, we couldn't even pay attention, let alone anything else. We wore blue jeans with holes when blue jeans with holes weren't cool. But, um, you know, when I worked my way out of that and I became successful, I got this passion, burning passion to really try to help my people. And I thought franchising would do it. It would not do it because it cost hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars to, to start a franchise. My people couldn't borrow that kind of money or get that kind of money. And this is why I call Live Good the great equalizer. I truly believe that anyone with a pulse can do this business. It is so amazing. It is so easy. It's such a blessing to me because it fills my heart with joy knowing I'm going to be able to help so many more of my people. And uh, like I've heard Dr. Oxel say before, until now, well, I couldn't help my people until now and i'm just so thrilled with live good thank you dr breakthrough wow wow thank you man thank you and you just finished the 21 day breakthrough challenge and uh you're blessed so thank you appreciate that oh man yeah i'm sorry that was it's actually an awesome program guys i tell you i was kind of struggling um getting to some things rolling because i've already very involved in another business um but once i was able to verbalize and visualize a lot of the things that Dr. Breakthrough shared with me in the 21 day breakthrough challenge. Now I'm off and running and on the way to crown diamond. There's nothing that's going to get in the way. If you haven't been out to the internet mentor.com, get out there folks, set up a free account and engage with Dr. Breakthrough. Hey, all righty. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate that. By the way, uh, I'm going to bring in um, uh, a guy you all know, Anybody recognize this guy? <laughs> Let me see if it'll work here. Hey, Dr. Harris, thank you for that call. I love to tell people about your awesome book. I'm gonna send it, this video to also Dr. Goodkin. Uh, hey, Ryan, I just got off the phone with one of our top leaders, one of our top motivators. Doctor. Hey, Dr. Harris, oh, thank okay. you for that uh -oh. call. I love to tell people. I got to go, awesome man. Come on. Nader, no, stop talking. Send this video to also Dr. Goodkin. Uh, All right, hey, Ryan, I just got off the phone Technology. with one of our top leaders. Anyway, he was busy, but I wanted to get him a little bit by there. Okay, so real quick, I, and again, I wasn't planning on doing this, and uh, man, we still got folks coming in. Are y'all enjoying this in the chat? Talk to us. Are you enjoying this uh, in the chat? Let us know. By the way, I did a television show yesterday on Live Good. The the lady that set me up to do this show, the owner of the show, joined and now asked me to make him some 30-second, 60-second spot announcements. He says, I need to put this on every single day, all right? And uh, I wanted to play your testimonial. I'm way off base, but who cares? I'm having fun. I want to send you a <laughs> little testimonial here. Um, here we go. Let me. I want y'all to hear some of this, okay? Hey, it's Dr. Stan Harris, known as Dr. Breakthrough. I got a friend from many, many moons ago, Harry Root. Harry, you was telling the story. You said, man, we might as well record this. What You just signed up today, right? I did. What'd you sign up for? I have no idea. <laughs> you've, been, you've, been call, you've been calling me for, for 
for like a couple moons here. And I'm like, and you're saying, well, Harry, don't you trust me? And I'm like, you know, I haven't been feeling well and I had some projects going on and sometimes timing and it. And I'm like, I just was feeling sick. Right. And I'm like, and you're like, we're well, you're, you're gonna make money. And I'm like, well, I don't care, but I'm just trying to get healthy and I'm working on projects and we got all kinds of stuff going on. And, and so what happened was then I, I hopefully finished all my projects and I'm like, I'm just gonna call you. And you're like, hey, why are you calling me? You're in the middle of like a Zoom or some big meeting. I said, well, call me back when you're done. And I say, well, here's my credit card. How can we get started? And you're like, I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know anything about nothing, but I trust you, man. I trust you. Right. Like, you're my brother from another mother. I'm just saying that. Come on, man. What? All righty, all righty. So, by the way, that was yesterday. And uh, he put me on the phone with another gentleman and said, look, sign up. And Doc, I'll pay for him if needs be. And he said, sign and do the whole year thing. Like you said, so don't worry about it. He called me back today and he said, my wife said, by the way, he said he never watched one video I sent him, never watched one text, never got on one of my, never, none of that. And finally he calls me while I'm doing my presentation and I'm like, hey, dude, somebody's going to tell, I got it. He said, call me back. And that's when he, he, you know, he joined, right? Didn't know what he's joining. So he said, he looked at the website finally and his wife says, oh my goodness, we're getting, send me your link. I'm signing up. So, so tomorrow he wants to call me calling back. He's signing his wife up and he's signing his business up underneath himself because I showed him how to do a tri pack so he can triple dip. Is that good or is it good? Five months I've been after him. I got so mad one day I was about to take him out of my phone, right? But the Bible says in Proverbs 28, 20, a faithful man shall abound with blessings. So when y'all see me with 113 people personally sponsored, just know um I, I work some stuff for you, okay? So real quick, time is all out. So real quick, let's go through this. Here's my acronym for October. Write it down. Optimism creates transformative opportunities, breakthroughs, enthusiasm, and results. In the chat, talk to me. Who is ready to create transformative opportunities, breakthroughs, enthusiasm, and results? Say me, because this is your month, my friend. And this is the month you can do this. So God gave me that acronym, my friend. Optimism creates transformative opportunities. By the way, that's what tonight is, right? Breakthroughs, enthusiasm, enthusiasm in feel God inside ism you, God inside of you and coming out. That's enthusiasm. So don't try to get me quiet. Don't try to tune me down. I can't help it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, all right. So God bless you. I trust that'll help you. And so my my breakthrough. October declaration. I don't even know if I can, we'll see how much time it gives us, but we'll see how much I can get through this. So here's how to make your October outstanding. Ready? I'm making my October outstanding because I will no longer fight for my limiting beliefs. Right in the middle of the word beliefs is a three letter word called a lie. So I will no longer fight for my limiting beliefs, but rather commit to and focus on my limitless success. Ephesians 3.20. The sky can't be the limit because there's footprints on the moon, so I'll stand outside the box others have created for me. I'm, get this now, making my October outstanding. Why? Because I am initiating or at least participating in my own rest. So many of you are sitting back waiting for somebody to come. Listen, participate or initiate your own rescue. Come on, I see Dr. Aaron saying yes, amen. By the way, God already put inside of me the help I need. Dr. Aaron just said that. So as he did with Adam, y'all remember God made Adam and he said, Adam needs some help. He said, guess what? Where was Adam's help? It was inside of him. It was that woman. And God reached down inside of the man and pulled out of the man what was in the man that he didn't even know what was there. And that's the process of pain, my friend. So within your pain is hidden power, and you can leverage your power to create profits. So stop fighting the pain, my friend. Your help is within your pain, and it's already in you. And Job 6.13 pulls that out. So thus, I will flow with the process, even when painful, that will empower me to bring it out. I'm making my October outstanding because I'm no longer concerned about why I don't fit in. It's because the most high made me to stand out. And when I stand out, I empower others to walk in their uniqueness, 1 Peter 2, 9. 
I'm making my October outstanding because I now realize the only reason to identify my limitations is to know what I need to break through. The difficult I do now. The impossible may take a while, but it can and will be done. Write these three words. I will until. Philippians 4.13. I will until. Hey, I'm making my October outstanding because I'm committed to doing what I haven't done so I can experience what I haven't experienced. I will even do the things I cannot do, quote unquote, so I can learn to do them. That's what Picasso said. So I learn by trial and error and course corrections. I airplanes off course up to 90% of the time. So check out Proverbs 24, 16. Hey, I'm making my October outstanding because I no longer allow others or even my own negative opinion about my past, my life, or my business to become my reality, but rather only God's opinion to become my reality. So he calls me an overcomer, so I will come over or break through whatever comes against me. 1 John 5, 4. I'm making my October outstanding. Why? Because those who count me out, Dr. Aaron, don't count. They can't count. And what they say is no longer of any account to me. First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.12, it says he counted me faithful. By the way, even when I was unfaithful. When I yeah. lack belief in me, get this, please. I will believe in God's belief in me. Psalm 56.9, when I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn their back. Listen carefully. This I know for God is for me. You ought to memorize that verse, Psalm 56.9. That, listen, my friend, it'll change your life. I'm making my October outstanding. Why? Because I'm surrounding myself with those who bring out the best in success in me versus those who bring out the stress in sin in me. Proverbs 13, 20, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. You know, Jeremiah 5, 5, I'll get me unto the great men who've known the way of the Lord. And that word man is mankind. That's why I applaud you for getting on here tonight to hear from Dr. Aaron and myself, my friend. I'm telling you, the people that will build the biggest businesses are the ones who, who participate most in personal development and growth and becoming, listen, my friend, you're already doing, by the way, everything you can do. So what you have to do is you have to increase your being. So that's why it's be, do, have. Okay. All right. Let me get back here. Okay. I'm making my October outstanding because I am powerful, just like you. I am favored, so are you. I am brilliant, so are you. And I can do all things. I am a masterpiece because, number one, I'm a piece of the master. Number two, I'm a product of the master. I didn't put this in there, but number three, I'm the priority of the master. Proverbs 23, 7, so forth. I'm making my October outstanding because I'm preparing myself knowing that my Time will come. So what they say, get this now, uh, excuse me. So I say what I want, not what I see. Let me, let me, y'all didn't get that. I say what I want, not what I see, knowing that one day I, along with others, will see what I've said. Job 22, 28, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon thy ways. I'm making my October outstanding next to the last paragraph because I have fears, Kelly Tolar, but my fears don't have me. I also have faith, and my faith has me. As a matter of fact, I am divorcing, James Penny, my fears and marrying my faith. Come on now. Proverbs 10, 24 says, the fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. So you're going to live on your fears and what you're afraid of will be attracted to you. Are you going to live based off your faith and what you have faith in, you will be attracted to it. See, I believe many of you knew you were going to have a breakthrough. So God allowed you to get on this Zoom tonight. Come on, somebody. Now, I'm making my October outstanding. Why? This is why I declare October is outstanding because I'm standing out from the rest and striving to be my very best. And again, Job 22, 28, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee. So you can check out this website. It's called the internetmentor.com. The internet mentor, there's some free things I have there. And by the way, any of the trainings there that are paid trainings, if you use a coupon code livegood, 
you get 75% off, baby. Come on now. Hey, anyway, that's our time. Thank you for joining us. Um, I want you to know that we, Kelly and I and Dr. Aaron, we're committed. If you guys want us to do this again next month on the first Wednesday in the chat, let me know. If you'd like to have us do this again next month, the first Wednesday of the month in the chat, put me or put yes. Who would like for us to do this next month? Dr. Aaron, uh, it looks like they're saying they'd like to, Dr. Aaron, would you be able to come back the first Wednesday of next month? Absolutely. Kelly Tolar, would you be able to come back? All right. Dr. Yuvanka, come on now. Oh, yes. November 1st. All righty. November 1st. And my birthday is November 23rd. I will be 63 years wise. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Not old. 63 years wise. By the way, if you put wise after your years, it makes you feel better, right? <laughs> so they're, they're still saying yes. They're still saying yes. All righty. Hey, God bless you, my friend. And just know, um, listen, I just had, listen, I, I'm going to tell you something, my friend. You have no idea. This is your breakthrough month. You are going to be set free. You are going to experience breakthrough after breakthrough. By the way, what I do is I ignite and reignite a passion of people for life, for love, for the Lord, and for business. And so I educate, elevate, empower people to break through any barrier that'll hinder their success. So make this October outstanding and you can inbox me. I can send you that. I have it set to music. God bless you. We'll see you. Bye-bye.